Now for a lesson in truly mobile defense. To battle! Same great taste, just less fulfilling. Strategic battles fought with epic heroes, now in diet. This is Michael Jordan, and this is Niche Gamer's video review supplemental for Fire Emblem Heroes. Fire Emblem Heroes has two distinct art styles. Moving away from the pixel art style, Fire Emblem Heroes goes for an SD style approach. The other art style is a more typical anime character overlay which we see in the previous games on the 3DS. The art actually works well together and the animation on the SD characters are very well done and cute. General art for the game is extremely simple, being detailed enough to distinguish each character, their weapon, and their characteristics. Graphics run right into gameplay as it helps distinguish the rock, paper, scissors system when you can identify the character's styles and what weapons they are using. The battle system is accompanied by levels, skills, and skill points as well as types of attacks that you can assign to each character. While being simple to learn, it is very easy to grasp how to customize and make a complex team that all benefit from each other. There are multiple modes to participate in such as story, training, versus, and special missions. Most of the time when you beat something on the first time, you actually get some in-game currency that normally you would have to pay for. This currency can be used for summons or other random items. Now it's time to talk about the dreaded gotcha portion of the game where you pump money in and might not get the characters that you want. I could see this being a giant money sink for Fire Emblem fans who really want to get their favorite hero. But for everybody else who just wants to play the game and have a chance at getting a cool character, the missions in the game providing currency are enough to allow you to play through it without it being a burden. There's a surprising amount of voice acting in Fire Emblem Heroes. This is a welcome addition to the series nonetheless. While the music is not produced on a massive scale, it does its job and makes the experience feel like a sort of Fire Emblem Light spin-off, and not so much a cash grab. Outside of that, the sound design is fairly basic, but serves its purpose. The story is pure cringe. Somehow you have the ability to summon heroes. Oh, but wait, you have also been summoned yourself. Wait, now you have to fight other people who have the power to summon and control other heroes as well. I'm sure they could have done so much more with this, but it just comes off as a cringy, boring mess, with almost nothing to say about it after it's finished. Fire Emblem Heroes is a wholly inoffensive, if not boring, game for your phone. If you're a fan of the series, it might be something to pick up just to have it for the fan service. But the game is boring and will leave you in snooze town fast. For the money you would be spending on this game to get your favorite heroes, it would just be better off if you got another Fire Emblem game on the 3DS. But if you want something to do while you're bored, or just want to be bored yourself, you might want to pick this one up and not really spend any money on it. Thank you for watching this video review. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you want to help us out, feel free to check out our Patreon page.